Okay, folks, well, welcome. I hope you're doing well wherever you are in the world today. It's a beautiful sunny day here in Scotland, and we've moved things around. The, the studio's moving around a little bit here and there, so we're doing a number of different things, and we've got a number of different things that are going on. So I want to jump on here really quickly and uh, let you guys know. Obviously, I didn't want you to, to think that I wasn't coming on today. Uh, I'm just going to adjust my camera back a little bit. There we go, so it's not so close. And we're just fixing the camera down here, and there we go. We're going to start getting people on uh, for the show. Let me touch the, the microphone. It has been a crazy, there we go. It's been a crazy, crazy busy week um, here, folks. It really has. Uh, I mean, every every week is a crazy busy week, but uh, it's, it's, been, it's especially been a, a crazy busy week this week, um, for one thing and another. But I hope you've had a great week wherever you are and whatever you've been up to let's pop the studio light on so as you guys can see that didn't make any difference at all because the sun's blazing in it just, it just put a studio light in next to me didn't it just that's all it did it looked nice but um we are here today and we are going to be continuing our little painting that we started last week and if you were with us um for the show you will have seen that, uh, well, it started out as a sky last week, uh, and it's obviously developed into something a little bit more. I'm just putting my uh, overshirt on, so I don't get any paint on my, my, uh, my, uh, my, my fleece or anything like that, because uh, Katie, Katie won't be happy with that. Let me move this back a little bit. There we go. It's, it's been a frantic week. Uh, it really has. Let's auto focus. There we go. Lovely. Um, so it's been a really, really crazy and busy, busy week, as I was saying to you. And uh, I'm literally just finished one job and straight into the next. So here today we are going to do some painting. That's what we're doing. That's what we're going to do. Some painting. So when I left you last week, we had uh, for, for those of you who are watching on YouTube, we had the sky and everything that was in there. When when I left you on Facebook, we only I think had the, uh, the the basic sky in. Well, today we are going to start putting in some clouds. We're going to create some really moody, moody atmospheres. Um, with this painting in particular, and we shall see how we get on. Now, I'm not going to delay any more because we've got another show that's going out at 4:30. Um, so, and that's another channel. Uh, so it is is busy, but you guys can check this out at outreachart.org. Check out the full course and the other courses that I uh, have to offer uh, as well, and. Uh, all the, the chaos and the fun that ensues from these things. I promise you there's, there's a, lot, a lot of chaos at the moment uh, because the studio has just been moved around. Um, so there's a lot of things, obviously, that we're working on. Okay, so enough rambling. We're going to come in. What have we got here? We're going to come in with a one and a half inch brush. We're going to tap into a little bit of white paint. I was going to do this with oil paint. Uh, oil paint will give you a very, very different texture to acrylic paint, but I just ran out of time in terms of trying to set it up and everything. So we are going to go with acrylic paint and just use less of it. So we're going to tap in with the corner of the brush with acrylic paint and we're going to come in here and we're going to start making some little swirls. Okay, now this is how clouds are done. I know Fiona's on uh, and she had great fun in the, the live classes and things as did several of the students trying to create um, clouds and things because it's, it sounds really really simple but it, it, it's, it's the connection of the brain between making the swirls and actually how your hand moves and how your hand functions and, and everything else it can really really throw people off and um, you know it, they're, they're not the only ones there are many many others uh, as well that have had that issue um, whether it be through the live courses the workshops or whether or not it's through the online studies as well. So just coming in now, I'm putting in a little bit of uh, light blue in, a little bit of white. Let's tap into a little bit of green as well, because we want to keep these things. So the general rule of thumb is when you're doing clouds, if you are right-handed, you're going to start working them around from over here. If you're left-handed, you're going to start working them anti-clockwise and building them or not. Now it's important for the canvas to be completely dry 
when you're doing this because it means then that no colour is going to bleed into another which is something that I really really want to to kind of protect and I'm also working the light areas and the dark areas as well and then just going over nice and light I want to keep those beautiful bright colours so let's come in with a little bit of Okay, well, there we go, a little bit of uh, light green, tap it into a little bit of blue, which is going to make up a beautiful bright teal colour. That, that's the aim anyway. That's the aim anyway, is that we make up this beautiful bright teal colour. And again, now you can see that the, because the painting has dried, it makes it so much easier to work with. Sometimes we'll do a wet on wet technique, other times, we'll do this simple dry technique. Now you can do this, and you can go back and forth with these different layers as many times as you want. It's entirely up to you, um, but I'm doing this for the effect. Uh, let's go with a little bit of white into that blue, into that green. And then just working them on in and then just keep blending. And that's the secret, just keep blending it on in. If you put something in there that you don't like, leave, let it dry, paint over it. It's literally that simple. Now, I may want to darken that down later, and that's fine, I can do that. We're going to clean the brush off. We're going to clean the brush off. Now, I think for this one, folks, I want to change the perspective a little bit here and there. But before I do that, um, we're going to decide what we want down here. Now, I think down here is going to be more, uh, maybe water-based. So let's come in with a little bit of white, a little bit of that light blue, and a little bit of that light green. Let's see if we can make a, a nice teal. I've got my custom-built easel here. It was a giant piece of wood, and uh, I've attached the hinges to the back, and obviously the, the lips on the front, so all this is custom-built. Um, for me and my purposes. And I'm just going to come down here, let's tap into a little bit more blue. And just pull that in. Okay, so that's that's really all we need. Just going backwards and forwards over there. I don't want anything really any more than that. Maybe a little bit of blue. Okay, something like that. Something like that. I don't know about you, I'm looking forward to a number of things. Uh, it's Valentine's Day this weekend, but one of the things that's really, really... Um, I always say when it gets this time of year that spring is coming. And spring is coming because when you start to see the buds coming up on the trees and you start to see all these beautiful little things that start to occur and everything, it really, really just... It, it warms my heart so much. It's, it's a wonderful time and uh, all the buds are coming on the trees and and uh, so many amazing things are just happening, which is just lovely. Okay, so I've got a rough idea in my mind as to where I want to go. So let's come in with a little bit of black, a little bit of white, and we're going to make up a sort of a medium grey. We're going to touch a little bit more water in there. And it's really, really important, obviously, when we're doing this to keep the paint wet. And let's come up in here, and let's touch a little bit more, a little bit of that sky colour. And let's take a little flathead brush. We're just going to put a little peach mount up here. I mean, this is somewhere in Scotland. Maybe this is this is up north, uh, Inverness Way, or maybe Glencoe, or, or something like that. Um, Glencoe, which at the moment is absolutely full of snow. Um, because of where we live, we live right in what's called the uh, I think it's the Gulf Stream, and uh, we, uh, we we haven't got any snow. Everywhere else in the entire country has got snow, and then there's us. <laughs> oh, we ain't got any snow. Let's put a little bit of mist in there. Same way that we created clouds, we're just going to put that mist in. Oops. A little bit of white paint, and then just roll it on around. And that's it. You can actually make your mountains almost disappear using this technique. Just mist them. Misty, misty mountains away in the distance. And who knows what we're going to put in front of that. I haven't decided yet. Um, we may go for a really snowy scene, we may go for something that's not snowy, I, I don't know yet. Um, but let's come in with, 
I'm looking for a specific brush. There we go, my microfan brush, which is this little fella here. It's uh, a microfan brush, obviously, because, well, it's micro and it's a fan brush. So, you know, kind of kind of gives it away, doesn't it? Uh, let's come in with a little bit of the same color. Now, I want to draw your attention to the misty color that I've just put on. That is really, really important. And I'll tell you why that's really important now. Because if I was just to paint the trees, I mean, that's what we're going to be doing now. If I were just to paint the trees straight on top of the mountains, yeah, you'd see them a little bit, maybe maybe the tops a little bit, but you wouldn't actually see them too much at all, okay? So what I'm doing here is actually to create what we call a breaker color. Now, a breaker color is something basically that separates your background from your foreground. So the mountains are then separated by the breaker color, which is white, which is mist. And then when I paint the, the, uh, the trees on top, you're going to be able to see all these different things. And if Facebook, if you're watching this live, this is being recorded underneath. That's why I'm looking between two cameras um, just now. Um, I promise I haven't um, you know, gone cross-eyed or anything like that. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with that, but you know. Um, okay, so then we're going to come in with our little fan brush. And then all we're going to do... I'm going to hold this because I do not want this to slip this time. There are a number of different ways that you can do uh, trees. You can either do the, the tapping effect, which I'm doing here, or you can just put it on and lift. Start off the bottom and just lift. The only thing with the, the lifting technique is, one, you need more paint, but two, it means that you don't have as much control as to where you're going with the direction but, you know, sometimes it's just for speed. Okay, so let's put a series of trees in here. I've just seen the next three stages, which is nice. Okay, let me just come in with a little dry quarter inch brush. And then all we're gonna do is just lift, 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 big old tree there. And then we're gonna come down here, mist that bottom area. Scrub that on out, and then we're going to come in with a little bit of darker paint, a little bit more black, tiny amount of water. Okay, I'm just going to be conscious of time as well. There we go, we're fine. Yeah, we're fine for time. And then let's come in here and just tap and lift. So again, we've got another separator. And just lift and then we're just going to use that color almost for land mass I still don't know at this point how the painting is going to look I haven't got a, a clear image in my head as to what it's going to look like how it's going to look all that kind of stuff sometimes I do other times I don't and this is one of the times that I really don't and that's okay that's okay so, let's put some snow on these mountains, shall we? Let's come in with a very stiff and firm uh, quarter-inch brush. So, in fact, it's, not, it's, a, it's a flathead brush. It's a flathead brush that we've got going on here. I need to switch memory cards. Bear with me, folks. Bear with me. Because we've had some technical difficulties. That's why I was on a little bit later today. Um, but hopefully we can continue filming. There we go. It's all good fun when you're doing this live, have you noticed that? It's a tremendous amount of fun when you're doing this live. Okay, so let's come in with... Let's clean the brush. Make sure it's good and dry. And then let's come in with a little bit, little bit of white paint. Nothing too much. Tiny touch of maybe of that sky colour. Then all I want to do, you got to decide where your lightest area is. And I always like my light area to the right. And we're just going to touch very lightly, just hold the brush and actually just let it flow on down. No pressure. No pressure. And because it's far away, you aren't going to see a lot of details anyway, so that actually works quite well. But for the technique that we're looking for, the less paint that you use, actually the better, the better it is. And we'll just pull on over and work on round. And do the same over here. OK, 
Okay, and then let's go in with a little bit more blue. Tiny touch of black. Tiny, tiny, very, very small amounts. And we're just going to pull all around. And we're just looking for a little bit of highlight way away in the distance. Again, nothing too much. Something nice, calm and quiet. Okay, so now we know our next section, which is this area here. Let's come in a little bit of light blue. A little bit of light blue, a little bit of green. And let's take a little bit more light blue. I'm not, not sure I've got enough on the, on the brush. And there we go. Oh, I do love this blue, I have to say. And then let's begin just zigzagging. Just zigzagging around. Just working these things in. Now we're starting to lay the land out a little bit more. Okay, so let's come in. And take a little bit of blue. A little bit of that white. And let's maybe paint. Faded mountain over here. A little bit more. And all I'm doing here is just using the little old number brush. Okay, let's get our brush up. Clean. And then let's come in with a quarter inch brush. Pulling on down, following the angles of your mountains. Following the angles of your mountains. And just lightly blending on down. Again, we'll take a nice dry quarter inch brush and then let's Tap into a little bit of blue. Put a little bit of mist in there. And then just gently go across. Two hairs and some air as they used to say that's 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 how they used to call it okay we're going to stop in a couple of minutes for this class so i can get to any questions and comments um okay let's come in with a little bit of black and let's okay, let's create some landscape here okay if we want some big old trees let's pop them in in a second Okay, big old trees. What we're going to do now is just flick on upwards. The trees are maybe closer to us. Okay, and then just come on in. This is a student's dream when you get to paint black on a canvas. Well, for some students, it was a nightmare because uh, they'd work so long on this beautiful canvas and all these beautiful colours and then. When you ask them to paint the next section of the painting, it's uh, quite daunting and quite frightening, I think. Okay, we're just touching in down here. Okay, now you need that, leave that to dry, and then when that's dry, you'll be able to come on in and see the next section of this. So we're going to stop filming there for that section. Folks, I really want to thank you so much for uh, for watching this episode of Art Tips with John. I'm going to jump on some of the questions right now. If you are interested in seeing the full tutorial in much clearer detail than what we've got here and, uh, you know, in a, in a very different way, uh, come and check us out on YouTube, uh, outreachart.org, uh, Outreach Art with John Morris and Art Tips with John. Um, and you'll be able to find, obviously, everything that's there as well. We're going to jump on now and get some questions. Uh, okay. Uh, yes, Kenny, everything is going well. We're busy with the uh, teaching and the course of how to build a successful art business, which we have launched or relaunched, in fact. Um, and that is available at 
outreachart.org or if you've got an invite, which a lot of artists that I am friends with will be getting if they haven't already, uh, you should have a link to a Facebook group that's called How to Build a Successful Art Business. Um, and if you haven't, then go and check that out. If you are interested in learning how to make money with your creative skills, uh, we can help you do that. The course is fantastic. I have to be honest, it's on special offer right now and you get six days teaching plus a workbook. Uh, and it teaches you everything from how to market yourself, how to build up a product brand, how to build up a product line, how to build up your own brand, how to market yourself, how to do sales, and so many more things that are there. And uh, and it's already really working well for a lot of people. And it's the stuff that you don't get taught in, in art school. So uh, if you're interested, that's at outreachart.org. Um, I know we've got a lot of things that are going on. Okay, Ruby, yes, I'm doing very, very well. Thank you. Doing very, very well. Um... Libby can do pine trees. Thanks for the last session. Yes, yes, thank you. Um, thank you very much, Alec. I appreciate that. Uh, we, we do teach if you're ever interested. We've got online courses that you can purchase and download uh, literally right away. Um, that's good. That's good. Thank you very much, Kelly. Thanks, Fiona. Uh, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I am going to jump over now because we've got the other show to uh, begin doing. Uh, but I want to jump on here, touch base with you guys, uh, have some have some us time, as it were, um, and an opportunity to uh, show you guys some painting techniques and some hopefully some tips. And hopefully you found them helpful as well. And I really appreciate you watching. Please do feel free to share with a friend and, uh, and let me know if there's anything I can do to help. And until next Friday for the next part of this painting... I'll see you soon. Take care.